There are so many different kits you can use to start recording your videos on YouTube. Today, I'm gonna review this essential vlogging kit right here that I bought and I thought it was a good deal for about uh, 60 bucks. So I'm gonna, we're gonna open this, we're gonna unbox this, and we're gonna check this out and we're gonna see how well this can record. <music> So this is the box here, as you can see, um, this box, it pretty much came like this. And yeah, it came a little messed up, but uh, on the back, as you can see, you can use this for different, uh, different types of scenarios. And I just thought, just by looking at this picture alone, I said, that would be nice because I don't have a smaller tripod like this uh, for my desk. I have large bulky ones, so, I just wanted something that was kind of all inclusive that probably didn't require a lot of setup. So let's go ahead and check this out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box. So for this part of the video, I'm just gonna fast forward through all of this unboxing so we can get straight to the point and I can show you everything that is inside this kit and uh, we can get started with our little brief demo. All right, so I made a slight mistake. I thought that the action mount was not included with this, but it is. And I had went ahead and put the remote back in here. Uh, so the action mount is actually here and it detaches. I thought, I think that's kind of cool for something for $60. And so I think it won't fit anything larger than uh, iPhone. XS Max. This is as far as it will extend. That's kind of a good thing because that means that it's nice and firm. So I'm gonna put my iPhone, I'm gonna place my iPhone inside this mount. And so now we're getting somewhere, right? And with this bracket here, seems like a quick and easy setup. So I'm gonna place the, this bracket mount on here. Okay, I can take the phone off right now. I know that it fits. Okay, so I got a good little setup going, whether I wanna use this like this, so that's what I have so far, and the microphone.
and I just want to make sure this doesn't have a seems to be all one fixed piece but I would think that this has some kind of battery okay so it doesn't have any battery and that absolutely wasn't supposed to happen So this is what I have so far. And let me grab some batteries to put in. All right, next I'm going to plug in these batteries. I have three uh, AAA batteries, which I believe this microphone, or I should say the light takes. Plug this in. And I have light. See, light seems fairly decent for what you're going to get for this price point. Um, now, let's turn the light off. Okay. And now you somewhat have a setup. And let's mount it. And I'm just mounting this whichever way I think uh, that it should go. No particular way. Again, tripod. Now stabilize this. I don't like this mount, this smartphone action mount because it seems like it's not very secure. But let me tighten this. Then there we go. We'll tighten this a little bit. There we go. Now we have a kit that we can take on the go. Um, so this microphone here, I can't fully test it out the way I want because I need something that I don't have. I need an adapter for the lightning port, the stereo adapter for the lightning port. So I can't test out the audio, but if I wanted to see what this will look like, And let's try it here. See what kind of light that I will get. <clears throat> so if I wanted to see what this setup will look like here, I have this, it looks something like this. And turn my camera around. So you can see that I am recording. You can see that I am recording here. And let's turn on this light. Now, with that light on, you can actually see me in the actual camera and you can see how I'm looking down with my Canon right here. I'm looking down at my smartphone. So yeah, so the light is a pretty good light, pretty uh, good amount of light. And I want to say it's about six across 48, six, nope, 36 different um, LEDs, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that powers this little light. And I think this is a good little setup if it works like I want it to. The adapter that I'm looking for is the lightning port adapter and I don't, this is the uh, light, I'm using the tripod setup. Um, this is the whole vlogging setup. And as you can see that uh, I'm using the light, uh, I have it on the tripod. 
Um, I'm not able to actually use the actual microphone because I don't have the right cables to uh, connect the microphone. So uh, in the description, I'll post what you need to actually connect the microphone. Uh, it is called a TRRS uh, cable uh, to a stereo cable or something, some kind of weird cable. Uh, I know what it is when I see it and I know how to look it up. So I'll post the details for that in the description. Um, so just make sure you guys uh, look for that. But overall, it's a good small setup to have. And as you can see, the light does work pretty well. So that's with the uh, light on. And so when I turn on my uh, actual uh, room light, when I turn on the indoor room light, that's what it kind of looks like. So yeah, so it's a little bit of a difference and you can uh, kind of, maybe you can kind of notice it as well. I don't immediately notice it because the light itself uh, is a little bit uh, blinding to me. So maybe I could sit further back and it won't be so blinding. So let me try that. Then I would have to make uh, adjustments or slight adjustments to the camera itself. So let's do that. All right, so I've made those slight adjustments. So maybe that's a little bit better and that's not so blinding. But uh, for what you get and what you pay for, this is probably a fair take. There are a couple of pros and cons. And uh, one of the pros is that it's cheap. Uh, it can be easily set up. The tripod uh, is pretty much sturdy. Um, the cons, uh, it's cheap. <laughs> the microphone uh, is really, this is really for a Android system or more so used with the Android phone or any uh, device that has a stereo jack that way you can plug right in but you may need that additional cable in order to use the microphone. The microphone feels slim uh, flimsy sorry I can't talk today. Uh, the microphone feels a uh, little flimsy a little cheap looks like it can break but I'm not using a microphone because I am using my uh, Rode microphone right here, which you guys can hear me messing around with right here. So yeah, you hear all that? That's the Rode. So yeah, I normally use my Rode microphone and I love this microphone. Um, it, just it just has great quality. So uh, again, the microphone that comes with this feels flimsy. Um, Again, it's cheap. Uh, it, these things are probably a break, probably wouldn't last long. The actual uh, smartphone mount that I felt like in the beginning that felt kind of sturdy, felt like it would hold it in place. Actually, uh, I think, but if I were to pick this up, um, would it like, would it fall off? Would the phone fall off or would it fall over? So this is really a setup. If you're looking for something cheap that you want to leave on the desk or you want to take with you, uh, hell, if you have the money, you could buy one or two of these and uh, take them with you and set them down somewhere if you want to do a quick two angle shot if you got two devices. If you like this video, go ahead and click that uh, like button or hit that like button and click the subscribe button to get more videos and be notified when we make more videos. And until then, I see you in the next video.